In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to access the API key on your Shopify store. So the first thing that we need to do is be sure to watch this video to the end to ensure that you get all the steps correct and you don't miss anything out because if you do, it may not work and you might mess something up. Now, with that being said, let's get right into this. So the first thing we need to do is we need to log into our Shopify store, of course. Once we're logged in, it should look something like this and we can go over to where it says apps. Now, where it says apps, we can go down to this where it says apps and sales channels and we can well, it just look like this. Now I want to go to where it says develop apps. And from here, it says the store owner hasn't allowed custom app development. Now this is because I'm not the store owner, but you have to make sure the store owner for this and make sure it's turned on. But what, what you'll have here is if you are able to develop custom apps and it's allowed on your store, then there should be a thing here which will allow you to access your API keys. This is where you'd find them from. I'm going to show you a bit about the API license first. There's like a lot of like terminology here and stuff that you can read through, but the, the, there's like core values that they're looking at you to uphold. So um, they put limits on the data you can have, which is one thing. Um, they want you to, you know, build with actual, you know, build actual good apps. So you need to follow their internet security standards and don't do anything illegal or criminal or something that's like not going to be good for their system um, and only use your Shopify API credentials to access the API so don't use any like third party stuff that's what they're trying to say and lastly um, use this use this for um, you know their rules their purposes don't divert to any other checkout or processing unless you have permission so like third party checkouts um don't they don't allow that and don't try to move merchants off shopify or make basically shopify lose money that's basically the important parts so you can read more about this here but generally if you want to get your api key you'd have to go to this section here and you can get it from here so if you enjoyed this video and found it useful be sure to like subscribe and comment down below that helped thank you for watching